Did you know that 99% of macOS USB installer created on Windows fail? Yeah, harsh but true. And the reason is simple. Most tutorials only show you how to write a macOS DMG file to a USB. But restoring the DMG alone doesn't make the drive bootable. To build a fully working macOS installer, you need two things. The macOS installer itself and the essential boot files that make it actually start up. This is why on a Mac, we use terminal to properly create the bootable USB instead of just copying and pasting the installer. Extracting those boot files from the DMG is the step almost everyone skips on Windows. And that's why most Windows made installers end up completely useless. In this video, I will show you how to do it the right way, where to download the correct macOS installer, how to extract its boot files, and how to prepare your USB so it actually boots your Mac. Ready? Let's make a macOS bootable USB that works for real. Step number one, prepare and format the USB drive correctly. We need to format the USB drive as macOS extended journal and set the partition scheme to GPT. It sounds simple, but this is one of the most critical steps in creating a fully working macOS bootable USB, whether you are on Windows or macOS. To do this, we will use a free and easy tool called Paragon Partition Manager. It's simple, clean, and does the job perfectly. However, if you do not want to use this software, you can perform the same steps using Windows command prompt. I have already shown that method step by step in this video. The link is in the video description. After installing Paragon Partition Manager, plug in your USB drive and open the program. Before proceeding, please note that this process will erase all data on the USB drive. So back up anything important first. Once the software opens, you will see a list of all connected drives. For example, on my system, disk 0 is my internal drive and this one is my USB drive. Now check your USB's partition type. If it already shows GPT, you can skip the conversion. But if it shows MBR, select the USB drive. Click Convert MBR to GPT and then select Convert Now. When the conversion is complete, select the USB drive again. Click Format Volume and from the File System menu, choose Apple HFS. Finally, click Format Now and Confirm. Our USB drive is now fully prepared. It's formatted in macOS Extended Journal with a GPT partition scheme, which is exactly what we need. Next, we will download the macOS installer. Open your web browser and go to the Apple support download page. Then scroll down through the available versions. The first section on the page contains installers that can only be downloaded on a Mac. However, if you scroll a little further, you will find a second section with installers that can be downloaded on any computer, including Windows. Don't worry. We have already explained how to download and create a bootable USB drive for the first section installers in a separate video. For now, we will focus on the older macOS version from macOS line to macOS Sierra. Please note, the method of creating a bootable USB drive is the same for both macOS line and mountain line. 
similarly the process of use might through sierra is identical so it means once you learn how to do it for one version you will be able to apply the same process to the others for this demo i will be downloading two operating systems macOS line and macOS sierra when your downloads are complete go to your downloads folder in my case i have two files install macOS which is macOS Sierra and install macOS X which is macOS X line now here is the important part if you are simply restore one of these DMG files onto your USB drive it will not work that's because these DMG files contain the macOS installer in a compressed PKG format. To make a 100% working bootable USB, we must extract the macOS installer first. For that, we will use another free tool called 7zip. The download link is in the video description. After installing 7zip, navigate to your downloads folder. First I will show you how to create a macOS X line bootable USB and then we will do the same for macOS Sierra. Right click on the macOS X DMG file and select open with 7zip. Inside 7zip double click the install macOS X folder. Right click on install macOS X.pkg file and choose open inside. Make sure to select the second option which has a store icon rather than the first one. Now open the install macOS X PKG folder. Once the folder opens, locate the install esd.dmg file. This is the exact file we need. Copy this file to your desktop for easy access. After the copying process is complete, you can close 7 zip. Next, we will need a tool that can restore the installed ESD file to our USB drive. For this, we will use Transmac. You can download it from its official website. But there is one issue. In the latest version, the developer has removed two important features from the trial version. And one of those features is required to create a macOS bootable USB. Because of that, you will need to search for and download an older version of the app, such as version 15.0, which still includes all the necessary functions. However, if you plan to buy the software, trust me, it's worth it. For this demo, I will be using the trial version, which gives 15 days, more than enough time for our task. After installing the app, right click Transmake and select Run as Administrator. Wait for the countdown and then click run first go to the tool menu open settings and enable the option to show hidden and system files after that on the left side you will see a list of all your drives right click on your usb drive and choose restore with disk image now Browse and select the install esd.dmg file we just extracted to the desktop. Click OK, confirm, and let the restore process begin. Once the restore is complete, click on your USB drive to check its contents. You should now see the macOS X line installer along with all the necessary system boot files. And that's it. You can now use this USB drive to install macOS line on any Mac. Simply plug the USB drive into your Mac then power it on while holding the option key. 
when the boot menu appears select your usb drive and let your mac boot from it if you face any problems during installation first check out our troubleshooting video link is in the video description or email us for help now let's learn how to create a bootable usb drive for mac os sierra through usmi first download the mac os installer you need then open it using 7-zip inside 7-zip open the install mac os folder right click the install mac os.pkg file and select open inside make sure to choose the second option next open the install os.pkg folder inside locate the install esd.tmg file and double click to open it you will now see the osx install esd folder copy this folder to your desktop after that open this folder and locate a file called base system.dmg double click to open it then open the osx base system folder here you will see the install mac os sierra installer double click to open it then first open the contents folder then resources scroll down and locate the install assistant icons file then copy it to your desktop and that's it you can now close 7 zip finally drag the icon file into the osx install esd folder next open transmac as an administrator right click on your usb drive and choose restore with disk image this time select the base system.dmg file from the extracted folder before clicking ok make sure to check the enlarge volume option then click ok to start the restore process Once it's finished, click on your USB drive. You will see that the macOS based system has been successfully restored. Next, navigate to the system folder, then open installation folder. Here you will see a file called packages. Delete it. After that, right click and choose copy here now go to the install esd folder select the entire packages folder and copy it to replace the shortcut with the actual folder once that's done go back to your usb drive we still need to copy three more files here to create a fully functional macOS usb installer on windows to do this right click and choose copy here then select install assistant.icons base system.dmg and base system.chunklist files from the extracted folder and copy them directly into your usb drive next rename install assistant.icons to dot volume icons dot icons and that's it we have successfully created a mac os sierra bootable usb drive on a windows computer the installation process is exactly the same as i explained earlier plug the usb drive into your mac hold down the option key select the usb drive and follow the on-screen instructions to install mac os sierra if you face any installation errors 
make sure to watch our troubleshooting video or email us for help thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one peace